So, sometimes you know what you know, sometimes you know what you don't know, and sometimes, as the Fire Sign Theater says, everything you know is wrong. You know that you're wrong, but you fear you're right. You suspect you're out of sync. You think that you're out of your mind. Everything you know is wrong. In movies and TV shows, psychedelic drugs are portrayed as dangerous or even deadly. In the 2007 horror flick Shrooms, for example, an American student studying abroad in Ireland ends up killing all her friends after drinking tea spiked with psilocybin mushrooms. The trailer for that movie alone is probably enough to scare 90% of the population away from ever trying psychedelics. Check it out. This is a trip. Hello! That's what happens. Yeah, let's go. Hello! Take a look. Now that's a bad trip. All Hollywood exaggerations aside, though, there's a growing body of evidence that suggests that psychedelic drugs like LSD can actually reduce stress and anxiety. So if you think LSD and other psychedelic drugs are dangerous and have no place in our society, then everything you know is wrong. Joining me now for more on this is April Short, associate editor of Alternet. April, welcome. Hi, Tom. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. A new study based on the first clinical research on LSD in 40 years was just published in the Journal of Nervous and Mental Disease last week. It suggested that LSD can help reduce anxiety in people at, in end-of-life care. Can you tell us about this? Sure. So this is the, the study was a double-blind, placebo-controlled study performed by a psychiatrist by the name of Peter Gasser in Switzerland. And um, the study, uh, it looked at 12 patients over the course of about, uh, well, between 2008 and 2012, and they each underwent LSD-assisted psychotherapy sessions with trained psychiatrists who tracked all of their progress, and um, every single patient reported positive beneficial results um, at the end. So, um, yep, go ahead if you were going to add something. Oh, so I was going to say, um, as far as the safety of LSD, the study was a little bit limited, but nobody reported any safety hazards, any issues. Um, every single person reported they had no panic, no suicidal thoughts, no psychotic episodes or um, anything of that sort. So, yeah. uh, so as far as that stuff goes, it's a little bit... Um, I mean, the thing is that there hasn't been a study on LSD um, in humans for 40 years. So this is the first time there's been a clinical study. It's actually approved by the Food and Drug Administration in the U.S., as well as the Swiss Medic, which is the official authority on drugs in Switzerland. So. Yeah. More than, more than uh, 40 years ago, I took LSD. I knew a lot of people who took LSD. And right. uh, our experience, and I think I can speak collectively, uh, was that set and setting are the whole thing. That if you're in a, in a safe environment, you feel safe and comfortable, you can have an extraordinary experience, a life-changing experience. On the other hand, if you're in an unsafe, um, violent, uncontrolled, whatever uh, environment, it's going to be a bad experience. Uh, did that study corroborate that, you know, kind of one man's perspective here? Well, the study took place in a closed environment, from what I can see. When you read about the study, um, yeah, it took place in a closed environment in a safe setting, and um, but the patients were given, each person was given 200 micrograms That's of a LSD, dose. which is, it's a large dose. It's um, a normal hit of acid would be about 100 micrograms, um, right. give or take. So, so it's a, it's a definitely a psychedelic dose, um, but you know, and these are patients, these are people at the end of their lives who are dealing with their, probably the worst kind of anxiety you can deal with, which is death, thinking about your own demise. Right. And um, you know, one thing that I thought was really interesting was that each of them actually reported beneficial results. One patient says, my LSD experience brought back some lost emotions, the ability to trust, lots of psych psychological insights, and a timeless moment when the universe didn't seem like a trap, but like a revelation of utter beauty. Wow. So I think if a drug is um, able to bring feelings like this to people who you know have cancer or are dying of old age, 
I think why not study more? Sure. And that's what the research calls for. The researchers called for, um, in the conclusion of the study, they called for additional research because this is a pilot study. Yeah. And the first bit. Well, there, you've got, I mean, people down in Brazil who've been taking ayahuasca for, for you know, 300 generations. It's just a methyltryptamine. It's another psychedelic. Um, one of the things that LSD and other psychedelics produce is a dissociation. You, you separate yourself from yourself. You can separate yourself from your pain, and you can also view yourself in ways you never saw yourself. Are those dissociative experiences, once you're reintegrated after the trip is over, the basis of the healing, or was the, did the study not speculate about the, the, the causal mechanism of the therapy? Right. The study didn't really, um, there's a little bit of, I mean, more, the study more talked about the psychiatric results, um, the official psychiatric results, and the um, study talked a lot about the tests that people were given afterwards, um, and people self-reported their own anxiety and anxiety reduced um, statistically in every single patient. But it didn't really go into the di dissociative effects um, as far as I could tell. I may be incorrect, but um, from what I read in the study, it wasn't detailed. Yeah, if I was to guess, I would guess that that's probably one of the major things. Anyhow, April Short, thanks so much for being with us. All right, thank you. And now everything you know about LSD is right.